Tsunami Studios. Batman Catwoman issue number two, the triumphant return to Batman from Tom King. Everyone was looking forward to this, weren't they? Uh, I got so many thoughts on this book. None of them are that positive, if I'm being honest. Let's get this part out of the way. Clay Mann's art is brilliant. He's a fantastic artist who's able to capture so many unique and interesting experiences in the pages of this book. He's the reason you should read it. There's literally no other reason. You want some wacky looking Joker and Catwoman and Batman shit? That's, that's the book. What a, oh my god, there's just too much in this book going on and none of it makes any sense. Now, I, maybe I'm just an idiot and I can't understand the way that this book is keeping track of its thoughts because it's just all over the place. It's egregiously rude and loud and not in a way that I enjoy. I'm fine with egregious, rude, and loud, but not when it's like this, when you're just doing so much of this weird shit. I don't like it. I don't enjoy that. So we'll get into the book. I will say, issue number one was fine. I was mixed on it, but I came out more positively than I thought I would. This issue did not make me happy. <laughs> so again, let's stick to that uh, that Christmas trope. And as I look at, okay, so the first page, I just realized something that's really pissing me off already. So when it says cat and bat and you get like the mansion, you see all the windows. There's 12 windows, isn't there? Uh, yep, there's 12 windows, so we'll see how each chapter progresses. Good job, Tom. You, you really, yeah, it really buried the lead there. Fantastic. So, okay. Let's take place back in the future timeline. And I'm going to do my best to compile my thoughts and feelings on this. Don't expect this to be a well-rounded video as compared to my other ramblings. This one is going to be very <laughs> different. I, I do not like what this book is doing. So, it's the future. Joker's an old man. Selena's an old woman and she's gonna kill him that's the that's the opening of the book there you go we see that andrea has put on the phantasm suit and she's ready for justice then we cut to i think what's supposed to be the present day where a man is dead outside of some building and the cat and the bat are looking down at it one of joker's old henchmen they don't really know who he is and i think on the same page we cut to an earlier year of that same guy talking to selena and selena's like i need to see the joker she kicks his face in and goes inside and there's Joker. And this is how we know it's Christmas because there's a f***ing Christmas tree and Santa everywhere and a nutcracker and up on a housetop, the reindeer paws. I just, oh my goodness. I don't like this. It's annoying. So Joker took like some weird like necklace thing from Selena and she wants it back or, or does she give it to him? I don't even know anymore. There's just some weird tension between the two of them. A Joker and Selena relationship I don't like. And this entire scene... Uh, it's just like the song, ho, 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 who wouldn't go, whatever that is. I don't know. It's weird. So I guess Joker killed something that Selena liked and she's mad at him. And in the old and in the future, I guess I should say, <laughs> they're still talking and we get like, uh, like a whole page just dedicated to Joker getting up to get her a glass of water. And we see that he's like, oh, I remember that first wedding when everything was bad. You slipped my throat. It was crazy. I didn't think I'd make it, but I did. I bet you thought I'd die too. And then he, he's just like, oh, I forgot the ice. Let me go get you some ice. So he goes to his freezer and we see that there's a gun in his freezer. Cut back to an undisclosed time in, I don't know, the past or the present timeline. I don't know, but you guys remember, <laughs> do you guys remember DC and the Hanna-Barbera crossovers when Tom King wrote that? Uh, Elmer Fudd book where he meets up with Batman. They both loved the same woman or something weird. It's a good book. That Porky's is back. He's been using it in all his crap. It's back. There's the Porky bartender who's the stuttering guy. And, and we see a guy come up to the bar and we get more ho ho ho. Who wouldn't go? The guy at the bar dies from a poison. The cat and the bat go to the they go to the bar and she's like, oh, this is getting weird. And it's, I don't understand this book. So they go to an undisclosed safe that might have the answers to whatever the Joker was doing with these people. And of course, Bruce doesn't want to pick the lock. So Selena's like, I'll do it. It's fine. It's like all this for a necklace, pretty much, is what we're saying. Like, what's this necklace have to do with anything? I don't care. I don't care about this book. It's just so... It's all over the bloody place. I don't get it. Who... Is there an editor on this book? I might have to go up and check after while I'm done reading this. I'm just like, okay. Um... 
who said let's do three different timelines on one page in different panels like it, it does not flow well it does not have a great flow i don't care how good clayman's art is it the book does not flow well because on the page in the past where they're talking about the necklace we go to the present where joker's got the gun and selena gets the best of him and goes behind him then we cut to a subway on the next page where they're chasing down a guy or the phantasm is chasing down a guy, I should say. You don't know. You don't know what's going on. It's just so infuriating. I, I don't like this. This fast-paced, annoying energy. It's so dumb. So this guy gets killed by the phantasm. And then we cut to Bruce and Selina. I don't even know what time period this is in anymore. I don't know. I'm going to assume it's the past, maybe. And, like, there was a necklace in the safe, you know... Selena broke into it and she's like, I'm not the Joker, so I know how to do things. And you think, you think, I guess Bruce is kind of getting mad at her, like she, he's not trusting her, but I don't know. I don't know the time periods. I only know the old one because they're old. So we see that Selena's getting ready to kill the old Joker and she's kicking his ass and taking him down. Then we cut to the past where we see Batman is just like, ugh, what's going on here? And they're trying to take down the Joker, but the Joker's like, the Phantasm is coming to kill me. You have to get me out of here. Please save my life. And it's like, what a, okay, weird. I, oh, uh, I don't like that. And then we go to maybe the future or the past. I don't know. The next page, we see that Bruce is confronting Selina about her relation to this necklace. And it's like, did you help the Joker steal? And she's like, no, of course I didn't. I was never with the guy when that happened. And then on the last page, we see the old Selena just straight up kill the Joker old man. If you can make sense of anything I said, please put it in the comments below and let me know because I'm going through every page of this book. I get there's like a connection to like a necklace that I guess Selena might have taken in the past that has relation to something that happens in the present with the Joker and her and like the Joker's guys are getting systematically picked off by the Phantasm. What's the need of this future storyline? Why did you tease the phantasm in this book and make it some bullshit about the Joker? Uh, I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I have nothing good to say about the script. I like Tom King's writing. I think he has been pretty consistent. Whether you like what he did on his Batman run or not, I liked everything else he worked on. I like the guy a lot. I like his work. I think he's a pretty fun personality. This book really just suffers from having no clear direction or maybe too much direction that you can just do all this shit and expect people to be okay with it. It's not, it does not flow well. I want to say that right now. The book does not flow well. It does not, it's not new reader friendly either. It's very just painful in the way it presents itself. And I, I have nothing good to say about it except for the artwork by Clay Mann, which is a big part of the book, and it's the only reason I think you should read it. But this whole theme about like these Christmas songs being the different chapters, I don't get it. I don't understand what that has to do to connect to the actual storyline, other than you're just throwing the f***ing song in. There's no connection to it, and I don't like that. I don't think this book deserves your time or attention. Just look at the beautiful covers and illustrations online, and after you know, like the book gets like I guess out there more, and they start putting pictures on Google of just like pages, you know, that's when you should look at it. Like that shot of like the old Selena and Joker, and he's got the gun. That's one you'll probably see on Google later. I, uh, it's frustrating, and it's not the good kind of frustrating where you're like, I see what they're going for for this. I'm just like, it's all over the place. It's exhausting. I don't understand when the time periods are taking place. They could do a better job of explaining that, like not having different pages with different timelines on. Like, if you have one page, I'm going to say this. If you have one page in the book, that should be the, like one timeline. You shouldn't have different timelines on the one page and have them flow just randomly. It's really annoying and doesn't make for a satisfying read. I really wish it was, but whatever, whatever. Uh, maybe this is just going to be a standoff point until he's done this and we get his next project at DC, but I'm kind of sick of this book. I'm going to continue reading it or just seeing if I can read it. I don't know anymore. I hope you guys liked it, but I don't think anybody really does, so I don't know. It's just, it's really infuriating. I'm getting tired of this, Tom King. You almost, you almost had me with like the sexy first issue, but this one was a whole bunch of nonsense and random timelines. In a weird plot about a necklace and the phantasm. Is this a Joker story or not, Tom? I don't know. I'm tired. 
I'm gonna go to bed. I'm probably not, because when I'm recording this, it's not bedtime for me. <laughs> I'm just tired, man. Tired of this shit. So Batman Catwoman issue number two. I'm going to give a five out of ten, if only for the artwork. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.